to welcome right we're just going to be doing a preview of some of the races on sunday some interesting cards i thought Linkfield's quite interesting tomorrow as well as exeter being a really good meeting uh we do have a novice chase to kick off the card i thought trelawn was very interesting here he's a really nice horse as well um he has some coarse form but he also did a jink here one time over hurdles when having a race won but he does have um cheek pieces on for the first time tomorrow and david bass does get on well with him so trelon is rock solid in this type of race tomorrow i think he'll run a real good one i do have a monster bet going out tomorrow a 15 points win bet on a horse tomorrow i've only done three of these bets um i'm two from three with them we had a really nice one, a Skelton's win at 3-1, to one, Bolton in. Had another horse uh, winning Kempton, won by 8 or 9 lengths as well, won by even more. And then we had one that finished uh, third, not beaten that far, and did get a little unlucky in running. But I have one tomorrow where I believe uh, he's just far too well handicapped and... Um, Hopefully to make a three from four with these 15 point win bets. They only come along kind of one a month, stuff like that. But let's just touch. Oh, look, if you want to get that links below, right? Let's just touch on um a couple of other things. The 235 tomorrow. I thought a horse that could outrun his odds. He's an eight to one shot. Is home free. Could make a nice straight place bet or an each way bet. I just thought. Uh, he could improve on what he's done. Now, there's a couple of progressive horses at the head of this market, but he does get weight from them, and I expect them to improve on his first run. Could be interesting, Skelton's. Um, although they're not in the best form, they could really run well. I see Willie Mullins has fun, fun, fun over tomorrow. Uh, Favour and Fortune's in here, a very nice horse of Alan King's. Um, Insurrection, who was a nice winner around this track as well. And then we have the Dan Skelton, Juventus de, Br de Brian, 33 to 1 outside. I don't know, personally, I'd like Favour and Fortune in here. Uh, if he wasn't good enough to be Fum Fum Fun, I'd, I'd, I would be quite shocked. Fum Fum Fun is a nice mare, but she's not... She's not a real top-notcher, you know. She's a nice mare with some okay form. Now, she does get nearly a stone in weight, or she gets 10 pounds at least, anyway. She gets 10 pounds in weight off the likes of a favour and fortune, but favour and fortune is is a fairly decent horse. So, if he couldn't be her, connections would be worried. Um, Yeah, he's just a very nice horse. Uh, I just want to go to Lingfield as well for a minute. A couple of interesting things. I really like Tony Carroll's horse, the crafty master. He's on an upward curve really fast. Uh, I didn't think Lingfield would suit him as well as Wolverhampton was. He was after winning um, three in a row at Wolverhampton. And then when he went to Lingfield the last day, uh, he showed that that track was no worry and he went and got another really impressive win now he is up and great into the class five in a better race for sure but just thought he was very interesting another horse that is interesting on that card is a horse called al jazor al jazor is definitely better than his return run the last day he started a little slow he's in the 227 uh see young tommy jakes has a ride in this on linda parrot's reveal uh shenanigan is the shenanigan is the favorite but i just thought al jazor is a horse to keep in your notebook uh whether he shows it tomorrow or not but I, I i get the feeling he's a better horse than he's managed to show so far and he has run well but just he has an excuse the last day then another couple of interesting horses jack dowdy takes two rides for tony carl both last time out winners so getting the seven pounds off could be interesting neptune legend in the 257 he was solid in the market when winning the last day now he does have a bad draw in stall 11 so the jockey would need a bit of luck to break on terms and get a good posse um so he's interesting and i see that same jockey as a ride later on the card as well um a horse called moon over sea so yeah good two good opportunities for the jockey uh jack dowdy 
uh, definitely could be interesting tomorrow. So Tony Carroll, to keep an eye on his horses tomorrow, definitely a trainer who you got to respect in them types of races. And uh, like I said, I got a 15 points win back on out tomorrow. Um, Something I've been doing uh, every once in a while, I put them up. And like I said, we're, well, two from three with them and uh, showing a healthy profit. So hopefully this one can truck in tomorrow. All right, keep following. Smash the like on the video. And uh, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow.